So this game is no longer like Jujutsu Infinite. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Sorcerer's Legacy. And basically what Sorcerer's Legacy was, was a concept game that had insp like inspirations from Jujutsu Infinite and some spider game or something. I don't know. I uploaded on this game about a couple months ago, like four to five months ago, maybe. And yeah, basically they was dead silent and wasn't releasing much to the public. But now we do have some stuff. But before that, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you really enjoy the content. And yeah, if you want more videos from your boys. So yeah, anyways, let's get to it. As you can see, they have some stuff in sneak peeks right now, but I didn't want to show you all this because it's really not that spectacular. I didn't want to just show some domain and it's really just that's it for the video and stuff like that. I just had to make sure there was more footage for this. Before I even start to play this, because when I mean they changed everything, I mean they actually changed everything. So let me actually go into the game so I can show you what it looked like before. Now, when you actually get on the game, you are greeted with this menu screen. And honestly, it doesn't even look that bad. I don't know if they really changed this or not, but it really doesn't look that horrible. So hopefully they do keep it. Basically, this is what it will look like. Well, it still kind of look like for people that still has like access and things like that. I'm pretty sure it didn't revert. So you already know we got the Infinity Crusher, which didn't look that bad which really didn't look that bad. We got reverse of red, things like that. You already know we got shutter doors, container slam. You already know, you already seen the videos of mine. You already seen all of this. You already seen the reference from Jujutsu Infinite with the dashing and something a little bit different with the movement is they had this thing right here which you was able to launch yourself off the ground once you landed. And um, yeah, so if you would put two to two together, you would just like say, oh yeah, this is definitely a Jujutsu Infinite inspired clone, which they actually had their other inspirations of adding on their own. But with this, that is not the case. So <laughs> enough of my blabbering, let me just get into it so y'all can actually see. So you can see everything has greatly changed. Notice the, notice the red now, notice how the red has changed. Instead of just making it like, you know, uh, area damage, whoever is by you, they made it unlaunchable. Now, I don't really like games that do that, to be honest, because I feel like reversal red or just red, honestly, should just stay close area damage. But I don't know. But that's just me, to be honest. And oh, they changed the effects on purple. Wait a minute. Wait. Hmm. OK, there's one issue I actually kind of have. Is this imaginary purple? I can't, I can't, I really can't tell. Is that imaginary purple? Because it's just how small it is. I'm going to assume it's imaginary purple. Yeah, it has to be because I don't think that's just regular purple. Purple would be way bigger than that. So it's definitely imaginary. If it is, then never mind. I was going to say that looks horrible. Okay. Sukuna has all right effects. But when they're fighting, why does it just look like they're kind of just walking at the same time? It just seems. Hmm. Make sure the screen so y'all don't see that. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, what am I doing? Okay, town pop domain. Literally the same thing. It's literally the same thing. It's literally the same thing. It's literally the same thing. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, let me do it one more time. Oh my god, gang, it's literally the same thing. I'm not even trolling. Yo, <laughs> okay. That is interesting to say the least. I did not expect to see jujutsu shenanigans, the type of domain pops that i just seen right now with the hands and everything there is one thing i like the the infinite void actually looks good oh wait a minute is that like a barrier inside the domains is that like a barrier inside the domains i kind of like that okay so they got they got the barriers and things like that i forgot what it's called i can't believe simple domain it's called simple domain so they got simple domains and domains which i find pretty cool Oh, wait a minute. Oh, OK. That actually didn't even look that bad, though. I won't lie. It looks good. Hold on. Let me go back. I actually like how that kind of look. Is, is there like a whole animation for that and everything now? Because before it didn't look like that before it was like a basic as like arrow 
and yeah it, it was kind of it was kind of lame to be honest well i actually found the like actual full pov of this because i actually found that like pretty dope i want to see the animation and everything why does it look like that why is the quality this bad yo am i tripping or do i just have to actually go on uh robo uh, youtube i lied nothing changed but let's continue it anyway let's see okay Ooh. Ooh. okay <laughs> Ooh. that's a little bit of sauce wait that's a little bit of sauce i like what they did with the animation because it used to look so lame before bruh i actually like that wait hold on is that like impact frames when he clapped his hands together let me see i wouldn't really call it impact frames uh, like maybe just a little but not all the way which is pretty cool i mean it's pretty dope the only thing that it's not dope is like how low quality it is but hey i mean it is what it is as you can see if you put the two games that they had together right now and what they changed and everything you can see it really changed greatly on gameplay and how visually everything looks now which honestly it's not really a problem at all i mean they wanted to branch out of like being known as like that jujutsu -Ju 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 infinite uh inspiration copy whatever and they kind of wanted to move into their own things even though they have some stuff from jujutsu shenanigans i don't know why but you know i mean it w inspirations i guess but yeah everything with the guis and everything and combat it looks completely different and i'm pretty sure they said they wanted to add parry and i think i have a clip of that just so you know this is like an old combat test so i'm not gonna pause or anything because it's nothing really that spectacular in this video it just shows on their development on combat and things like that and how they wanted things to work as you can see we've seen a little bit of uh pairing inside of the video the newest video we didn't see it that much but this is where they really wanted to start parrying and things like that don't get me wrong not a lot of people really enjoy parrying inside games and i'm, I'm really i'm i mean i'm i'm fond of it i mean i enjoy some parrying here and there but in like every game though i, mean, I don't know it kind of gets overwhelming to see every game want to try adding the parrying aspect now i know deep woken had uh actually sparked the chain of pairing a little bit they they're not the one that created pairing just to get it out there because i know some people are going to be in the comments saying oh deep woken didn't make parry they just popularized it yes yeah, exactly is what i'm trying to say they popularized it so more games wanted to add parry inside of their games and hence is the reason why you see more parry in games like this or type solar any game you see that have parry okay Deep Woken barely made the trend a little bit more for Roblox games, which honestly not a lot of people uh, like like, I guess. I don't really care about it that much, but yeah, I mean, you're going to be seeing a lot of parrying in games, to be honest. For certain games, I'm not sure. It probably might just be like a parry key. It might You just have to dodge. But yeah, this was very early into development, as you can see with the GUIs and everything. You can see with the purple bar, which the purple bar is... Uh, He's losing it because he's using like abilities and stuff that reminds me of like Deep Woken type so to be honest, which they also had inspirations from Deep Woken as they said in their discourse or prior. So, I mean, it makes sense.